Hi everyone, my name is John Prosper and I'm an observer for the Call of Duty League. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan, aka Prestigious Key. I've been a content creator for over 12 years and I'm a big fan of everything and anything Call of Duty. Hello everyone, my name is Emma, also known as Cloud9Ms, and I'm a CDO ambassador and a part of a professional esports org called Cloud9. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Xavier Latore. I am the lead observer for the Call of Duty League. Hi, I'm Shane Orschnard, and I'm one of the first person observers for the Call of Duty League. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Shauna, aka Sean J Gaming here, and today we're gonna be answering some fun questions with the CDL. Chance here again, and now I got the shades on. It's the fun questions. You are going to be on a brand new CDL team. Which three players are you picking to join you? Let me think. Without a doubt, I'm going with basically the entire Atlanta phase roster minus RCD. So I got Sip and Abizi, the Tiny Terrace, and I got the best player in the game in Sullium. We should find a little bit of success if you ask me. Okay, wait. First, the team has to be in my hometown of Detroit. Second, I got to go with Slasher, Simp, and Kenny. I love the way these guys are able to play with their teams and their team-focused players. Plus, I need a lot of help in the slang department. I mean, you don't want to see my gunny. My picks will be Scump, Dashi, and Simp because they are just all insane. It's going to have to be Shotzi, Simp, and Selium. Uh, Shotzi and Simp being two of the best subs in the game, Selium being the best AR. Obviously, I would be the flex in the situation. Simp, Arsides, Kenny, myself. Championship level team. We're winning everything. Selium, because the guy is disgusting MVP for the air, 100% has to be him. I'm going to pick Bance just because, you know, Bance, Bance is one of my favorites, a British boy who just does fantastically well. I think Beams only, I think we're going to go with Octane. So me, Octane, Bance and Selium, what, what kind of squad would that look like? I wonder. Selium, because he's my season MVP and he's amazing. Simp, because he's probably one of the best players in the world. And Insight, because He's so clutch and such and destroys, man. He's got that in the back. All I have to do is just find hill time. I'm going to dinner with my favorite team. Definitely don't have a favorite team. I'm not biased. Uh, what meal would I get? Uh, pizza. Just give me some pizza. It's great and it's really good for casual conversation. Sit around, have a nice za, uh, chat with the team. It'd be a good time. New York's got me thinking about pizza. We were just there. I'm thinking about pizza consistently. We tried as much pizza as possible when we were there. And I, I feel like I, I, I know a couple of the good spots now. So I'd go for pizza with a gang because then they'd obviously see how good my pizza choices were. We go with pizza. Everybody be enjoying the pizza. I've said pizza a lot. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Well, I am a New York native, so without a doubt, it's gonna be something New York. And it might just be a nice little trip to the corner store bodega to get a bacon and get cheese. Don't forget salt, pepper, ketchup, mayo. You need all of that. And I think when we go out there, you start the day off right with a good breakfast sandwich, huh? you can't be set up for failure. I think I gotta go with the Minnesota Rock from my home team. And we're gonna go to the 5A club and get a Juicy Lucy. Well, I'm picking Ravens, and I need to know what this English breakfast is all about, so. We're going out for some English breakfast. I'm taking the London Royal Ravens out for dinner and we're gonna go to a Weatherspoons. We're gonna have a couple of pints, we're gonna get a nice Sunday roast and we're gonna have a really, really good time. I would take London Royal Ravens to a five-star restaurant in London and get a lovely steak. You gotta have it medium rare because that's just how you gotta have your steaks. We're getting tomahawk steaks. I'm making sure that they're fed and fueled and ready to go. Some steaks, some fries, you know, maybe you get some Brussels on the side or some asparagus, so you get some veggies, but that's just gonna fuel you, right? It's protein, it's carb, it's veg. I would honestly pick probably Korean barbecue just because of the choices that you have. And it's also a great way to build camaraderie with your team. It's any team that wants to get down some Korean barbecue with me. Order as much meat as we possibly can and just get to grilling. Do I have a favorite moment from the season? Yes, I do. It would definitely be Optic Texas winning Major 1. I remember shortly before that, Scump tweeted, there's got to be a light at the end of this. And then to just turn around and win the first Major and kind of set that tone for the season, I think that has to be my favorite moment. The Optic Major. Come on, did you see that crowd, the energy? We could hear all the fans and everything backstage through our headsets. In the first majors when Optic reverse swept phase, that was literally a mind-blowing experience. I would love to just watch that back a hundred times over. I think my favorite moment without a doubt is when I was casting Atlanta phase versus Seattle at major two when Mac, he was throwing up on stage and somehow, some way, put up 49 kills on a bull cage hardpoint versus a team like Atlanta FaZe, who at the time were undefeated on that map. The fact that he puts up almost 50 kills throwing up on stage, oh, very typical performance out of Mac. To be honest, I think the 250-249 game in map number one of the first day 
of the major, the very first, the very first map of the New York major that me and Bryce got the cast between uh, Ravens and Ultra. And the fact that it went 250 to 249 and probably the craziest hard point we've seen all year for map number one of the entire major event. I'd say that was probably my favorite moment. LEG winning Major 2, I think, was a really awesome moment, as well as Optic winning their Major. I mean, for them to win it in their hometown, I think, was just amazing. I don't think any of us really predicted LEG to go that far in Major 2, but as the matches kept going and going on that s &D record they had kept getting higher and higher, I think right about the, at the time the Grand Finals started, a lot of us were starting to think, maybe LEG can do it. Their s &D was looking insane. They were winning respawns. It was nuts. And LAG pulling out that loser's bracket run has gone down in history, at least in my opinion, as the best loser's bracket run in COD history. Which team do you think would host the best event? Ooh, best event that could possibly host it, I think, be anything in London. It's gotta be London. We gotta head back to London. I want an event in London because the crowd would make it the best event. There is no question in my mind, the London Royal Ravens and I'm gonna say it, it's not necessarily because of the squad, it's because of the fans that were turned up. I think London Royal Ravens would host the best event because every time I've attended an event in London, the crowd has just always been so lively, it's been so mad, it's great. It's so much energy. The fans over across the pond just bring it every single time. You know I'm on your side. Champs in London, baby, we gotta make it happen. I would have to say London, I've never been there and I've heard European fans are just literally on another level. So I definitely think a future event in London would be great for the CDL. You know where I'm going here, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Ravens, baby. They would just put on the best show without question. The home crowd would be dumb lit. It'd be good to get back to London. We've wanted to do it for some time now, and we are praying to the almighty COD gods that it can be a reality in the Modern Warfare 2 season. Who is your pick for the unsung hero of the season? Who doesn't get enough recognition but should? For this one, I went a little bit outside of the box, and I think it's got to be Temp from the Paris Legion. Temp has been doing his thing all season long, but the results just haven't been there for that squad. Temp, if you're watching this, you're the unsung hero this season. My pick is Mac because he's put on a solid performance throughout the season, and he's ended up also winning Major 3 with Seattle Surge. I'm going to have to say Mac for my unsung hero. Mac is the one making a lot of plays that you don't realize that are winning them the maps and the fights. My unsung hero of the season has got to be Bance of Toronto Ultra. He's an incredibly cerebral player. He makes the right choices. He just thinks more than others. He may not have the most incredible gun skill, but when he brings it, it is fantastic. And in my opinion, he is one of the most instrumental players on the map. No one quite plays Vanguard in the same way that he does. I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to Capsital. He's an incredible player and has brought a lot of surprising plays throughout the season. I think this is a good answer. I'm going to go with Scump. Uh, I think because some of his teammates have taken some of the, the narrative limelight, he's kind of flown under the radar with how incredibly consistent he has been. And if you're just getting consistent, not only comms, but consistent slang and almost no bad maps, he's had a, a pretty impressive year. I mean, that's a hard one, but I gotta say Optic Shotzi, just because this guy literally does so much and he just has these quiet pop-off moments that I just feel like he doesn't get appreciated enough for. It's gonna have to be Vivid. Vivid has definitely been proving that he did not deserve to be dropped, and I definitely think he's been a key factor in helping Boston secure their wins recently. I think my pick is definitely gonna have to be Gizmo. If you see the way that London Roy Ravens at least started off the season, they were dominant. Top three team in the game. They go through that time where Harry comes in for Gizmo for a little bit of a period, but then you see that it's completely different with that London Roy Ravens camp. He comes back, stage four, they almost go flawless, ended out four and one, taking a tough loss to LAG, but Gizmo, he has that team looking tremendously better every single time we get to play. My pick for the unsung hero of the CDL 22 season is Attach from the Minnesota Rocker. Attach is currently holding number three in the KD leaderboards across all categories and has remained consistent with a 1.1 KD across all game modes. It's gotta be Kismet. Now this guy comes into New York. It's a broken team. They just started to win a couple of hard points, but then they just took flight. They 
They complete the impossible feat of making it to the finals and making it to champs. And Kismet was taking over the MVP of New York at Major 4. I think Kismet deserves all the flowers. This guy has been playing Call of Duty for a couple years, but never found his home. He never found a spot. Kismet has found a home in New York, and this guy was taking over at Major 4. Which team has the best logo overall? Huh. This team is cool. It's thieves, I'm sorry. I'm not rocking with the traditional LA. The script just doesn't do it for me. Love the red and black though. I think the team with the best logo, without a doubt, now that I'm looking at them, has to be the Seattle Surge. They got the whole Poseidon thing going on, you know, with the eyes popping out. I think it's pretty clean. And if I could change at least one logo, it would have to be the LA Thieves. Just a simple LA. We got to get freaky with that. Give me a robber or something holding a money bag in his back pocket. Give me something a little better than that. As far as logos to change, it's going to have to be LA Thieves and Toronto Ultra. That mainly being because their logos are kind of just like their names and not an actual design. I wonder which one I'm gonna choose for this one. I, 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 Seattle Surge, of course. I think the team with the best logo would have to be Seattle Surge. And the one that I would change will probably have to be Toronto Ultra. Best logo, in my opinion, Minnesota Rocker. I mean, love the, love the helmet, love the intro they got, the fantasy, you know, thing they got going on. Absolutely love it. I love the color scheme. I love the design. I love how it fits in with that Nordic tradition that they have going on with the Minnesota Vikings. Best team logo has to go to Florida Buccaneers. I mean, I mean, come on, that's that's a such a cool original logo. Like I, I love it so much. I think the Florida Mutineers might have the best logo. I love the Kraken. I think it looks really cool and love the little hat it's got going on there. It's a nice bit of a pirate vibe going on. You know what you're getting. You know what you're getting with all the branding with the Mutineers and I really, really like it. If I were to choose the best one, I got to give it to Optic Texas. I think it's really recognizable. It's a household name at this point. I'm going to go with LAG. Honestly, a lot of people talk trash on Los Angeles Gorillas logo, but I actually think it's cool, right? It has creativity, it has personality, it's the hood with the eyes, maybe based a little bit more around like gorillas, right? Like gorilla warfare or something. But if you took, if they took a toad off and it was actually a gorilla and they've been spelling it wrong this whole time, that would be funny. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed this and we cannot wait to see you all in the Modern Warfare 2 season. It's been an amazing year, everyone. And to be part of it is something special. I'm really looking forward to what teams people make. Thank you everyone for supporting and watching. I, we really appreciate everyone. Big thank you once again to the CDL for having me on as a 2022 ambassador. It's always a fun time to communicate with all of you and watch the games all season long. I look forward to seeing them next season with Modern Warfare 2.